But um, big crit return of forever that dropped yesterday. And um, you're on there. You and Luda on the uh, Country Shit Remix. Just talk about, you know, what you see in Big Crit. Did he reach out to you? Do you reach out to him? How'd yeah, that come Crit, about? You know, it's somebody that we just been watching for a while now. You know what I'm saying? Really evolve into who he's becoming. And you know what I'm saying? I really had a lot of support for him in the background. It's one of the first opportunities we had to work together. You know, I think it's important that when we recognize him, you know, he knew I'm becoming talent. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Big Crit to the world. You know, you know, the currency is always incredibly young, up and down talent. South is important for me as an OG to reach out and support and, you know, pull the coattail and, hey, you know, kind of lead this right away. But Crit, you know, was already an incredible student of, of, of hip hop, you know what I'm saying, specifically Southern hip hop. And, you know, people like myself and A Ball and MJG and Gail and you know, it's, it's evident in his sound and his delivery and, you know, his subject matter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he was you know, directly influenced by this man. So I'm very, you know, happy for his success and proud of he's achieving it. I'm just waiting to really see when he's really get a hold of this game, what he's going to do. It's going to be a problem. Definitely. Um, you know, he's talked about the influence of UGK and specifically Pimp C, and people have made those comparisons. I feel like you kind of hopping on that song and giving your co-sign, giving those comparisons was, was a big move. Uh, you know, big Crit was, is one of the first artists that I've seen since Pimp passed away that I felt like could have really benefited from the two minutes of Pimp C. Thank you.